Hello, the Soba Magazine. Today I'm doing cranberry bread. To start off, I'm going to cut one stick of frozen butter. Add one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter spoon of salt. And a cup of buttermilk. I'm going to add all this to a bag of bread mix and two cup of self-rising flour. You're going to open a can of cranberry. This cranberry came with the bread mix. Now I set the cranberry aside and I'm missing the bread mix a little bit before I add the cranberry. Now we're going to pour the cranberry into the mix and start mixing it with your hands. This makes a very good gift around the holidays. This is something I used to do a long time ago around Thanksgiving. And a friend of mine reminds me, he said, why don't you do your bread? Once your dough comes together, you can form it as the shape of your loaf can. If you don't know your neighbors, this is something you can bake and give it to your neighbors as a gift. Once you get it into the shape that you want, you're going to place it into a buttered pan. Next, you're going to set the oven temperature to 350 degrees. To start off, you're going to set it for 45 minutes and then check on it. After 45 minutes to an hour, you're going to take it out of the oven. If I have the time, I would have let it cool before I slice it. This bread is very good with butter. I also like to give seven layer cookie to my friends and neighbors. So you can also find this on my channel. It makes a very good gift. The bread, you can wrap it in the wax paper and place it in the box and wrap it. To top it off, you can wrap the box with a beautiful bow. And that's it. Enjoy. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.